Hey guys, Zeon90 here. This video is going to be a little bit different. Usually I make an effort to try and showcase the best matches I play and try to showcase the best aspects of the mobile suit that I'm using. This time I wanted to focus on mechanics. I wanted to focus on team play and things I see a lot of people, myself included sometimes, doing wrong. To start off, I'd like to talk about team play. This is obviously a team-based game where core team play mechanics, such as defending certain points, watching each other's backs, especially uh, regular and raid units, monitoring their, their team support units. These are key facts and figures that you have to pay attention to, and I don't see enough teams doing it. I think part of that is the fault of just the game itself. It doesn't really have good built-in features for players like us to communicate with each other other than emotes essentially and in the heat of combat these are these can be a bit tricky to to play with and to utilize especially to their most effective use um, as you can see here i'm paying attention to my radar i know there's an enemy coming up behind us he's making a straight line to my ally so i'm trying to help my ally out as much as i can and since that guy went in there by himself, he was completely outmatched. And once again, I'm trying to sneak up on an enemy from behind to support my team. Where you've got three people on one MS. He stands no chance. We completely dominated those two MS because they're going off by themselves. They're not paying attention to the radar. They're not thinking about their teammates and how to best utilize their talents. And that's something that really frustrates me as a player, um, especially with team games like this. It's one of the main reasons why I stopped playing MOBAs. Um, it's it, the atmosphere, especially with the community, could sometimes be very toxic. But I don't think that's the problem here. I just think it's the game's core features, built-in features, just don't really allow for too much team communication. So a lot of what we have to do is communicate using body language. I know that sounds a little weird, but when you've got a teammate and if you're paying attention to the top left, you're looking at health bars and stuff and you know that they're low on health, you know, why don't you try to back them up? Or if you see a teammate get out and start repairing, help them repair, especially if you've got a moment to spare, um, do everything you can to help those teammates. Um, I'm trying to stick close to my team. I'm trying to hunt as a pack. That's something I like saying all the time. Oh, this made me so mad. I, I ran right into that debris and couldn't counter that guy. My team really needed me right there, and I couldn't deliver. That upset me so much. Um, but I'm trying to pursue these guys, keep them away from my teammates. They did a lot of damage to them. But I'm also trying to be mindful of my health, um, which is one of the reasons why I love the G-Line. It's just, it's got some great abilities, and it's just a very good unit overall. Um, but back to team play. Um, so, so far this match is going really well. We seem to be sticking together. We're not going off on our own too much. And there seems to be a, some good teamwork going around here. A lot of us are reading the situation. We're paying attention to our radars. We know the strengths and weaknesses of our mobile suits. And that's, that's something key. That is a very key aspect of this game that you have to understand to be really good at it. You've got to pay attention to your surroundings. You've got to communicate with your team. And I really wish there was more emphasis on this game with, uh, you know, party communication outside of emotes. Um, it would be nice if I could just put on my headset and instantly start talking to my teammates. And sadly, that's not the case. And if you want to communicate with people over headset, you're, you're going to have to invite them to parties. And a lot of us don't like doing that. That's how I met most of the people I actually play with right now, is I would just randomly invite them. I would send them an invite, um, seeing if they wanted to uh, communicate with uh, voice chat. And I'd say about seven out of ten times, they, they would be open to the possibility. And they were positive towards it. Um, and those who didn't would usually just ignore the invite. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I've ever had a single instance where someone harassed me because I, I sent them a, an invite to communicate over a headset. Um, most people are very positive to it. They're very open to it. And 
they see it for the advantage va advantage that it is. Oh god, I can't believe I hit behind that building like that. I still got him in the end, but still, that was a bad play. But, uh... Don't be afraid to try to communicate or... <laughs> shot my teammate right there on accident. Um, don't be afraid to communicate with your allies. Don't be afraid to talk to strangers. I mean, this is a team-based game, and communication is absolutely vital. You've got to be willing to communicate with your team. You know, learn to... You know, there's a compass, a radar on our top right, you know. A lot of people, when they shout out, hey, I need help, they don't bother communicating where they're at. Um, you know, say, I'm in the northeast part of the map behind this building. You know, call out, you know, specific destinations. Try to use landmarks. Uh, communicate your situation. Tell people, hey, I'm right behind you. Or, hey, I'm reloading. You know, and the same kind of thing you would do if you were playing a team-based MOBA or a team-based first-person shooter. These are key aspects you need to keep in, keep in mind. And, you know, sometimes, you know, we're, we're always thinking that and, you know, some of this stuff is pretty common sense, but we forget, especially when we're playing with people we're not used to, we forget to implement these things. Because, especially if we're very used to playing with our buddies or a select group of people, you know, they already know what we're going to do. So we don't need to really communicate those things. But when you play with people that are brand new to your group, you've got to learn to communicate. And see, from my perspective, I'm looking at my screen and not the radar, and I see a bunch of teammates up ahead, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I need to go help them. I notice that that guy died, and now there's three enemies on my radar. There's three. And I know because the radar is being jammed that there's another nearby. And I make the mistake of going in for a tackle... And I get completely surrounded and destroyed within seconds here. And this was, honestly, this was the turnaround for my team. We went from about being, what, two, 3,000 points ahead to now being two, 3,000 points behind. And it was because I failed to pay attention to my surroundings. I was looking at the screen. I wasn't looking at the radar. I wasn't reading the situation. I should immediately have backpedaled and gathered with my team and hunted as a pack. When you can't really communicate openly, you gotta use your body language. And by that, using the body language in a video game usually means how you're moving your avatar, how you're moving your character. And if you're staying with your teammates, you're, sh you're communicating to them that, hey, I've got your back, I'm gonna support you, I'm gonna help you. And that's what I'm trying to do kinda unsuccessfully here. Um, in the winding moments moments of the game and <laughs> I get aggroed pretty hard by this guy and distracted by him but you can tell by the radar no one else realizes that the ace is under attack by the enemy and no one seems to either really care or they're preoccupied and I don't blame them I really let the team down here I if you look at my score I did stellar oh and then the, this guy pulls an evasion an evasion <laughs> Illusion 100 on me, and if you look closely, he actually went to the to the right as soon as he got on the bridge and went through that debris field, um, past the highway to his allies. Um, but yeah, I I was the team ace. I was I had a really good start, but I fumbled the ball. Anyways, pay attention to your team. Be a good team player. Hope you guys enjoy the video and learn something. I'll see you next time.